Hello, my name is Jill Uncle and I'm curator of Western collections here at the Chester Beatty in Dublin and today I'm going to talk to you about papyrus. The word papyrus refers to both the plant and the writing medium. In antiquity, papyrus grew in abundance along the Nile River in Egypt. Um, and the first century Roman poet Marshall tells us that Egypt supplied reeds for writing paper while the reeds of other marshes were for thatching roofs. So for about four millennia, papyrus was the primary writing medium in Egypt and a major export product. Found as far away as Ireland in the Fadamor um, Psalter, which is now in the collection of the National Museum of Ireland. This now dried papyrus plant was given to us by the National Botanic Gardens up in Glasnevin um, and it grows in one of their greenhouses to about two meters tall whereas in Egypt it can grow much much taller. So papyrus sheets were made from the stalk of the plant and you can see a section of it here from the collection um, but the stem is also used to make a host of other products from boats boxes, baskets and mummy masks, to ropes, dolls, sandals and bindings. Um, although the ancient process of creating papyrus sheets is described by the first century Roman author Pliny the Elder, his account is sometimes vague. Um, evidence suggests that the outer part was uh, trimmed away, sort of peeled away, and then the inside was cut into these strips um, that then were used to create the pages. Strips of papyrus from the stem were placed in two perpendicular layers. Um, here we have it running uh, vertically and on the other side it runs horizontally. And this is a sheet that the head of conservation and I made here from the plant we got at Glasnevin. Uh, so once you have the strips where you want them, they're pressed together and then dried in the sun so that all the moisture comes out. And then the actual natural juices of the plant holds the sheets together. The resultant sheets then could be pasted together end to end to form long rolls. And as you can see here from this blank uh, choir from the collection, you can see the long strips running all the way through the various cuts of papyrus. So papyrus making was a highly skilled craft and for several millennia was a booming industry, although we know actually very little about the individuals who made these books. The surface, though, was prepared for writing or painting, um, sometimes to smooth it out by using an ivory or a shell. Um, and of course, quality could vary and rolls were priced accordingly. Next time, we will look at some possible reconstructions of the earliest papyrus codex books in the collection.